Slavery in Africa, and their new film from director James Gray and actress Marion Cotillard. You know these men. You talk to them. You've already been processed. Their decision's been rendered. There's very little I can do. Please, please. We have those stories and more on what happened and what might happen. I love my sister. You do not worry. You get the best medical care available. Do you have a place to stay? No. That is a scene from director James Gray's newest film, The Immigrant is the Story of a Polish Woman Arrived at Ellis Island in the 1920s and is forced into prostitution in order to save her sister. It stars Marion Cotillard in the title role. I'm attracted to uh, great stories, and that was a great story. And also, that was something that I had never done before. This uh, character was, uh, you know, something that I hadn't explore. Tell me about Eva. Um, she's a strong woman. She's um, in. She's in a state of need when she comes to the United States. I can work. And uh, she's someone who's devoted to people. She was a nurse her in sister. her. Uh, well, yeah, but uh, I think it's. Uh, fundamental um, aspect of her personality um, because she was a nurse and a nurse is someone who's d devoted to you know dedicated to uh, human beings uh, health and or you know but um, so that was yeah that was a part of her personality that was really strong the fact that she's devoted to people and of course her sister in this story you were also inspired by uh, Puccini Mm, yeah. Very much so. That was very much the inspiration and Puccini's shamelessness about the emotion. The degree to which he never distances you. There's no irony. He's saying, this is my heart, here it is. Like it or don't like it, this is the honest emotion. And that was very much the governing principle of the film. I mean, Puccini's music is all over the movie. But also Diary of a County Priest. Oh, Diary of a Country Priest, yeah, by, by uh, Bresson. I just felt that it was interesting to explore, particularly for an actor like Marion, whose yeah. face is so evocative, almost a kind of silent film melodrama. So all of this went into it, you know. Yeah, you say this is a fable. I guess it is. I mean, what I was trying to do was to do something very simple, you know, so simple that in a way the subtext could take on more importance. But What's more important to me in the film was really the honesty of the emotions, you know, and that that is very fable-like. I mean, you said to me when you saw it, you said, it's like a fable. Mm -hmm. What does that Are mean Are you doing you? an impression of me? Well, not a very good one, but I tried. <laughs> Forgive him and explain to me what you meant when you said it's a fable. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that the first time I read the script, I, um, I don't know exactly how to explain, but for me it was... I need to work. They looked like kids with something pure inside of them, even if some of them have more darkness, I would say. But, um, yeah, some kids in the woods um, fighting to survive and, uh, and surrounded by hope and beauty. Uh, but when you see, like, the background, you can see that it's a little more darker than what you think it is. 